the majority of folks um, who come through and actually get the treatment are in a better position to continue their career. Um, more often than not, it, there are issues of finances, alcohol use, DUIs that end up being the, the issue that gets them in trouble with regard to their clearance. Um, but in terms of the folks who actually have that clearance suspended or, or lost, it's only 1%, so it's really a small, small percentage. And what we typically find is that the folks that raise their hand um, to get mental health um, it actually shows good judgment um, and good reliability and those are factors that we look for um, whenever there's a security clearance issue. I think that's a key factor particularly at Fort Meade because everyone's security clearance conscious or part of the stigma may be this belief that if you go to behavioral health it's going to hurt your career. The other thing is just kind of normalizing everything when we can really go down to the commander level at some of the briefings or go to the units we just kind of normalize things that, you know, coming to behavioral health doesn't have to be a bad thing. It actually can be, you know, a growth thing, a very good thing. Besides the reliability and, and judgment, if you feel better, you do better. And so it's just really normalizing things.